This happens to be Terrence the black and white Argentine tegu. What an absolute ripper this animal is. Today we're about to get an amazing tegu that's gonna be here anytime that we can unbox. And I am so excited about this. But tegus are actually beautiful animals. You can see Terrence here, he's an absolute gem. And just a great animal ambassador. They're super tame. South America is where tegus come from. And they're the largest lizard species down in South America. Argentina, you've got black and white, you've got blues, you've got reds. And then you've got the other areas that are Colombia that typically come in. Which with are black and white Colombia and gold Colombians. Truth is, the Colombians aren't as docile as the Argentines, so the Argentines are the ones to get. And the one we're getting here, just in a little bit, it's gonna be a little baby, pure Argentine. You guys are gonna freak out when you see this one. And then take a look at this ripper right here. This is actually Snow White, and Snow White is actually a blue tegu, but just not a normal blue tegu. Again, from Argentina, you can see how absolutely docile she is. And the interesting thing is, when you saw Terrence, you saw those big jowls, right? These things right here. Females don't get those, males actually do get them, which is kind of cool, it gives them a lot of personality. But this isn't something Something that you would just find out in the wild, the blue face. This is actually selectively bred for higher contrast. And this is an absolutely one of the best versions of a blue tegu that I've ever seen. And females are gonna stay a little smaller. She's still gonna get bigger than she is now. But they're gonna stay a little bit smaller. Males are gonna get a little bigger, get those big old jaws. Again, the Argentine ones are the way to go. So if you're gonna get a tegu, definitely go with an Argentine. And that's not dissing the Colombians because they're much cheaper. But the problem is the majority of Colombians don't stay dog tame like this. And you could target train these guys with a blue ball, just like we do Elvis or whatever target you want. You can even click train these guys and a lot of people actually just let these free range around their house that's right like a dog because they can actually potty train you can put a corner with a light on it it'll go over there with some newspaper and it'll always go to the bathroom on that newspaper and then it doesn't have to mess up your house and you can literally free range these things they're absolutely incredible i've seen them come to their name i mean they are just a beautiful beautiful animal so there is the black and white and then of course here is the blue bird and this happens to be goldie now this is what they call an albino ice tegu the albinos that you see out there and they're relatively common these days they're still not cheap but they're relatively common are actually albino blue tegu and then there's all kinds of combinations the blue ice like this one right here is actually a combination between a red a blue a black and white but the albinism actually comes from the blue gene so this one here happens to be about 50 percent black and white and then split between red and blue on the other side for about 25 percent something like that and line. actually tiki's geckos is the one that donated this little girl to us and she's an absolute beauty but again she's a female you can see no big jaws or anything like that and just really amazing but i tell you what tegus are absolutely lovely animals and i'm going to talk to you about a new albino that we're going to be getting in this shipment that should be here any minute and i'm going to give you the whole backstory on them because now i tell you what, i have gone crazy ever since i saw a picture of one of these babies that's coming i flipped out and i'm so grateful that we're about to get it. and it is finally here and i'm going to tell you the story about these guys because they're absolutely incredible this one is incredible but the entire story is really amazing as well. like i said all the albinos that basically around for the longest time the blue albinos that came out i think ron st pierre was the one that pioneered that project if i'm not mistaken i know that he was early on if nothing and then, like I said, guys like Underground Reptile, Ryan over and there. A bunch of other guys did a lot of stuff with breeding them into different things, different color morphs, all kinds of other stuff. And we're producing some pretty amazing stuff. To me, the creme de la creme. Oh, and by the way, look at this. Get well soon. The actual egg had hatched out of it. It's really cool. So a buddy of mine, Brandon from Ace Exotics, actually reached out to a me. while ago and said, hey, listen, I really have always loved the stuff that you've done. You've inspired me and so like that. And I'm working with albino red tegus, pure red tegus. And he said, when I produce them, I want to donate one to you. That's what he said. And I was like, oh my God. I saw the picture. Now, I will tell you, this. I didn't know how much these guys cost, but uh, I'm going to tell you that here in a minute as well. And so the story basically goes, about 15 years ago, a pair of albinos came out of a farm down in Argentina that were pure red albinos. A guy named John from Albinos Unlimited actually bought the pair. And for about 10 years, he tried to breed them, and he was unsuccessful. So then he ended up giving them to another guy named Philippe, and Philippe bred them the first very year. And produced the first albino pure red Argentines, and oh my gosh. You have to be kidding me. And then ultimately, Brandon, my friend from Ace Exotic, which, by the way, I'm going to put a link in the description. I'm also going to tag him in a bunch of Instagram posts. You know, go show him some love. He's got great animals. I mean, unbelievable. If you're looking for a tegu, I tell you what, this is the guy that has them. But this is a actual red albino, pure red albino tegu. And so, again, Brandon bought the original pair from Philippe, so he actually has the original pair. This is actually the grandson of the original pair. So they've only been bred in captivity now two or three generations, so they're still really rare. Now, Brandon over at Ace Exotic isn't the only person that works with them now because some have been pretty. But he is pioneered the majority of the mutations and things like that. He's even produced now snows, which are absolutely ridiculous too. But this albino is to die for. I mean, look at the color on this thing. I am blown away. And then I found out, I asked him, I said, well, you know what? I really appreciate you donating this. You're amazing. I'm so excited about it. And trust me, I am over the top excited about this. But I asked him, I said, you know, what do you normally sell those guys for? Just out of curiosity. Believe it or not. And Brandon, thank you so much. It just, it just touches my heart. I'm, I want to tear up because I'm just so happy and grateful. These guys sell for 
$6,000 a piece. That's right, $6,000 for a male, $5,000 for a female, and I have a little male right here. And as these get bigger, the color just gets better and better and better. And out of all of the tegus I've showed you, the blues, the black and white, and even some of the blue albino crosses, my favorite have always have been the red albinos, the pure red. So this thing is gonna be an absolute ripper. And you can see it's relatively docile now. It's gonna need a little bit of work. You know, we're gonna socialize and stuff like that. That animal is ridiculous. And I've got my egg that says, get well soon. Brandon, you are a rock star. I appreciate you do that. Like I said, go show him some love over at Ace Exotics on Instagram. And follow him on all this stuff because he's an absolutely incredible person. I can't thank you enough for this absolute ripper of an animal. The one thing you guys may not know is Lori loves tegus. I mean, she's a huge tegu fan. She's the one that bought me some of my original tegus without me even knowing. And so she was really, really excited to see this. And I think she even had a name. She told me, I can't remember what it is. While we head over to the office, show Lori this little monkey Find here. Find out what she thinks the name should be. And then you guys can comment down below me if you think the name is a good name. And while you're down there, do me a favor, hit that like button, all right? You guys ready? Oh, God, can I hold You're it? You're red. Is it cute? Did you already know? Yes. Why does your face look like you already knew? Because Why I... didn't anyone tell me? <laughs> you had a reaction. Oh my. <laughs> Isn't that thing incredible? Dad, I love it. Is it mine? You're red and it's not yours. Oh my. It's the reptarian. God, you're so what do you think? That you had a name picked yes. out for it. What, what was it again? What do you think about Blaze? Blaze, that's good. <laughs> okay, guys, down in the comment, let me know. Do you like Blaze? I think it's a great name too. I really do like Blaze. it. So uh, that's cool. So what do you think, Laura? Is that cool? Super Super cool. cool. Oh, don't let him go. Don't, don't let him go. He's just jumps away. <laughs> oh my God. How old is it right now? It's only maybe two weeks old. Oh, God, Daddy. You know what I found out? I just asked Brandon how much these go for. Let, Let me guess. guess. Take a guess. Four grand. Lori? I said four grand. Oh, I'm gonna say seven. Not bad. Pretty close. 6,000 bucks. Oh, okay. So how awesome is that? That, that, that is... you donated that to us. Donated. I mean, what oh, an thank you. We I know. What an absolutely amazing. amazing person. I can't thank you enough. And for the next 30 years, we're gonna have this animal <laughs> just changing people's lives, educating the masses, and, uh, and Blaze is gonna be an absolute rock star here. So now all we have to do is get an enclosure set up. Time to talk to Jessica. Brian tasked me with setting up a cage for the new Tegu today. Out of nowhere. I have to kind of decide which cage we're gonna use. We have kind of a bunch of extra overstock caging down here. I'm just gonna look and see what's available. All our black cages, that big black cage over there doesn't have enough glass. I think the only problem is it opens towards the back. back. You okay? <laughs> yep. Hmm. Maybe a little smaller than the black one, so I guess we could just go with the black one. Do this one we can put all the coral and stuff. So I think we're gonna go with this one. It's a little bit shorter, which is great because honestly, she's probably just gonna burrow anyway. Plenty of space here for substrate. I think this will fit easier in the basement and it'll be great for her. And we can just upgrade her when she needs it. You got it? Yeah. All right. Let's do this. You want in front of me or behind me, Jay? The behind, you know? Oh, hang on a second. For now, the baby tegu is actually going to go over here. But it's actually going to be right here next to all of our other educational animals that we use for zoo to you. Like this is Goldie Han. Another tegu. Currently on a zoo to you. And we got like Snow White and we have a couple other things. Eventually, when we move stuff across the street, these guys will actually go upstairs into the bigger enclosures and stuff. This is just temporary until we can get the expansion going. So I think he's going to do great here. It's going to be a perfect setup. And then we could do a lot more hands-on interactive with him down here. We need a light and I don't think we have like a dome at all. I don't know. I'm going to have to go to the store probably. Is this the, the box? Oh. So this is a pure albino red tegu, or I should say an albino pure red tegu. Oh. So most of the albinos you see are blue tegus, and then they're crossed into reds. This is oh. actually one of the only lines of pure red oh. albinos. My goodness. Adorable, it's beautiful. Look at the color. That's incredible. Uh -huh. Isn't it cute? <laughs> I take lunch at the wrong time. <laughs> I love it. We got it. a name for it? Lori wants to name it Blaze. What do you think? Blaze? Blaze. Like Johnny Blaze? Yeah. I just had to know where the blaze is going. Yeah, I think it makes sense, right? You know? Yeah. We have enough T names, you know? Yeah. Plus, I mean, you can go back to the, you know, I love the Fantastic Four. Oh, yeah. You know? yeah. 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 His name was Blaze, right? I found one. Perfect. It's got front opening. I thought that this one also was just top opening and thought that was going to be like a big pain in the butt. Just gotta grab some Reptile Prime to finish out this enclosure. I'm tired. I hit stairs. Just gonna rant. Only back. Only back. Sure. Grab the cart with your left hand. Good job, Mike. Can I go home? And it's so hot, it's already like 93 degrees outside. It feels cool down here. I checked the where you guys from. 
Good. Oh, it is so good to meet you. Is it that I will not cry too? Oh my god, I could like hit you so long as I'm like tell myself I'm not gonna cry. <laughs> because guys, you're just such an amazing person. Thank you so much. Hi, I, what's your name? I'm sorry. I'm Jessica. Jessica, it's so Hi. great to meet you, Hi. Jessica. So nice to meet you. This is Kathleen and Rory. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing? Good, good to meet you guys. Throw a photo and I can take a group photo. Can I take one of yeah, this first? Yeah. And then yeah, you we'll get, get that one first. Did you get? Thank you so much. Can I give you a hug? Thank you. Uh, I appreciate you. Thank you, seriously. That's beautiful. So this should be a pretty simple setup. Like I was saying, pigus a lot of times they just mostly burrow. So I don't have to put a ton of stuff in here for her to climb on. I'm just gonna put a nice layer of reptile prime. Probably would be easier if I had a cup or something. So I'm gonna go ahead and wet down half of it and then it should be ready to go. I just have to get a UVB lights ready. You're bleeding? Yeah. What'd you do? I don't know. All right, so it's all done. Uh, all we have to do now is just plug everything in and put her in there. As always, Jessica did a great job of setting up an enclosure for Blaze here, which by the way, uh, Fantastic Four is not Blaze. So you comic buffs saw uh, lay off me a little bit. I was a little wrong. Nevertheless. I love this guy. Look, oh my gosh, does he look beautiful. Now, all we have to do is get a light to plug in right here. We've got a little light because these guys do like it pretty warm. You gotta have a pretty hot, hot spot for him. So, uh, that's gonna work out good. And he is just cruising around right now. He's like, yay. We'll give him until tomorrow and then we'll try to feed him and just see if he settles in. But wow, what an absolute ripper of an animal. I tell you, that, I mean, thank you so much, Brandon. You are absolutely amazing. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, there's a playlist that you can watch all kinds of videos. You can also hit that subscription button. It would mean a lot to me. Also hit that like button while you're down there. Have a wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, 